may not think much of those plastic shopping bags that you get at the grocery store. Right, but a group of elderly women are using them to create mats for the homeless to sleep on. News 4 Tucson's Kendra Hall sat down with the ladies to learn more about what they do. Kendra. Yeah, Sean, Alex, you would never believe that those sleeping mats are made out of a plastic grocery bag just like this. They're durable and thick, but also light to carry. These women produce around 200 of them per year. It all started about six years ago at Fountain Senior Living. And it's quite a process. Bags with handles we have to straighten out and flatten. And then we fold. Then another person will loop the pieces into a ball of yarn. After that, others will crochet. It's a fun hobby they enjoy doing together while giving back to the homeless. And Judalyn Thornton says she works on the bags for up to three hours a day. Being old, you are a little bit limited in what you can do. Um, and it's nice to feel useful. It was started at Fountains by former resident Dwayne Greer. He was an art professor at the U of A. Though he passed away, a group has carried out what he started. They meet once a week to create the mats. Then the mats are donated to the homeless in Tucson. They're very cushiony. They actually not only provide that barrier for temperature, both hot and cold and wet. Plus, they're recycling. They receive thousands and thousands of bags from the community, some even from other states who have caught word of the group. I have people calling asking me to come pick them up. I probably get an average of four calls a day. Are you still collecting bags? And there are other benefits besides recycling and giving to the homeless. The residents here, the crocheting um, for dexterity, for your hands, we're, we're keeping people moving. And this is something that folks really look forward to coming down and doing every Saturday. And students at Pima and the U of A and others from the area have joined in the group to help and learn. They have thousands of bags already, but they say they can always use flat colored bags for some of the patterns. To find out where to donate them, you can head to our website. That's kvoa.com. Sean, Alex. That is such a cool yeah. way to recycle those. Love it. And that's impressive to crochet something that that's, thick and It's got to be a lot of work, too, to put those together. A lot of work. Way to go, ladies. Yeah, We're your right. biggest fans now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, time now, 627.